we had just released um, a new feature that we call an automated runbook. So I think I come to my admin screen now. I come to runbooks. We now give you the capability to automate that functionality. In the past, when a client needed to activate in a DR environment, they would come to the server tab, they would activate their servers one at a time and bring those online. We now can do that automatically by clicking on a couple different buttons gives you the ability to activate your entire scenario um, automatically. You can create multiple runbooks as well. So you can create a runbook just for your financial department uh, servers or just your engineering department servers. Or suppose you have multiple locations and you have multiple data centers. You can activate you know, just your Salt Lake City uh, data center or your, just your Chicago data center. So uh, this is a very powerful feature. So if I come to my sales runbook, I can see here that that process where I went through where I just activated that SQL server, I can actually automate that whole functionality where step one, I need to make sure my domain controller is operational. Step two, I'm going to activate my SQL server as well as my exchange server. Step three, I have a manual step. A manual step is going to be where you have your custom functionality where you need to change something. And there's no way for us to actually do that for you since we can't log into your domain. We don't have domain logins. We don't have access to your systems, which and we don't want those. We actually give you the ability to add a manual step. So once the automated function uh, uh, steps are completed, it comes to a manual step. It'll stop. It'll it'll generate an email, and the body of the email will be the manual step. So in this case, it would be login and validate. So I then I simply log into the system. I, there will be a confirm button here right underneath login and validate. I hit confirm after it's been completed. And then the system will continue on with its automated steps until the next manual step or until the whole runbook is completed. Very powerful, like I said. Uh, when you run it, you're given some options. I can run it in my test mode or I can run it in my failover mode. I can pick, pick either the most recent snapshot or I can pick, uh, pick a particular one. Say I wanted to test the snapshot from yesterday between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. You know, I can choose that one and boom. It'll, the system will automatically go back to that point in time. I have some notification options here. I want to be emailed when there is a, a manual step. I want to be notified when the, ex, when the run book completes. I click run and the system simply goes. Adding additional steps, it's a simple matter of just dragging on to a, the next step. I want to activate another server. I'm given a list of my servers here. Right now, it only works with your remote recovery servers. Uh, in the future, we will be adding local recovery as well. So I simply select my server. I have some options here. I can skip if there's an error. I can skip if it's already completed. So if it's already running, the automated step will just bypass and it'll continue. I also have some options here where I can activate it as a server, or if I simply needed the data, I can activate it as an iSCSI LUN, and then I can simply point it to another server, and that simply shows up as a local drive to that server. Multiple options here. This is our first iteration of a runbook. We're always going, to, we're going to be adding additional features. Um, uh, we also give you a document holding area here, so if you have a, uh, a runbook template already completed, you can drag it here, save it. If you have spreadsheets for your IP addressing or your DNS information, you can drag those here. If you have a Visio diagram of your environment, that would help you. You can drag that here. All of your DR documentation is in one place on your DR remote console. 